Hey welders, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. This is episode number 96. Can you believe we've done 96 episodes since September? Hard to believe, I know. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, GMAW, also known as MIG welding. I've got some, uh, some nice uh, low carbon steel here. Let's check the thickness of it. Let's zero this out first. Duh. Now let's check the thickness of it. Alright, if you can see that, that says 0 .07 inches. So we will go to our chart and figure out our MIG chart set. on our Eastwood MIG 250. Suggested settings for welding. We are going to be welding steel with solid wire, DCEP. We're using um, C25 gas and O30 wire. What we're welding is about 14 gauge. So it is telling us to set up our welder for 22 volts and 350 inches a minute. So we'll come over here. Now we're on 240 volts. So we'll be using the red scale. 22 volts. And then what did it say? Ah, 215. 22 and 215. So we'll set up here for 215. You can see we've got our solid ER70S6 wire there. And from the torch we're hooked to the positive. So we are DCEP. I'm going to get my gear on and we're going to weld up some joints. All right. Okay, folks, the first joint we're doing is an open root butt joint. And the root opening is the same as the thickness of the metal, about 0.07. Okay, I'm going to be using a side-to-side -side motion, trying to stay on the leading edge of the puddle. And I burn a hole through it. There's the top side, and you can see where I punched the hole and had to fix it. And there's the underside, and you can see that I did not have 100% penetration. So not a good weld we're there. Do an outside uh, corner joint. It's got about a 16th inch root opening. We're using about the same settings. There's our outside corner weld, which looks much nicer than our open root butt weld. And as you can see, we have complete penetration. So you can see where I've adjusted my settings down to just below 18 volts and at about 200 wire feed speed. So that's a little off. From their suggested. So our last weld of the day is going to be a fillet weld on a T-joint. You can see I've got it pre-tacked already. We'll be trying out the same thing.
our fillet weld in the flat position not too shabby yes there's a pinhole not I'm not quite sure about whether or not I like those settings where they're at but the machine lays sure down, down a nice well shut my gas off shut my power off And that's it for episode 96 of Adventures in Welding. Gave you three different joints with the Eastwood MiG-250. Granted, my technique ain't perfect, but I'm just a regular at-home welder like you guys. Although I am in welding school, I'm, I'm not perfect. I'm not Jody. I'm not Mr. Tig. So take it with a grain of salt. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.